We're gonna make some spaghetti puttanesca. It's incredibly flavorful, and it uses exclusively ingredients from the pantry. I can make this without going to the store and having anything fresh, and I love that. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. Now, normally, I'm all about making the pasta water have the salinity of like a really well-seasoned soup. But with this dish, you wanna go slightly under. We don't wanna overwhelm. Don't break your spaghetti, you won't be able to twirl it. If it doesn't fit in, all you have to do is just push it down. We're gonna start with capers. These are like little briny floral berries. I'm gonna start with them naked in the pan to try to dehydrate them a little bit so that I prevent the splattering that happens with the olive oil. We're gonna get some garlic going. I just do like a baby mash like this. And then what I like to do is kind of take both ends off of all of them. And then you can pick them up and just kind of do that and then the skin will come right off. So if this looks like a lot of garlic, it is. But one of the things with this dish is that it really should be pungent in aroma. Once our capers have started to look a bit dry, we can come in with oil. I'm gonna throw the garlic in. And now we're gonna throw in anchovies. It's this combination of capers, anchovies, and olives that give you all these different varieties of salt that make this so good. You wanna be crazy? Put the oil in too. Lowering the pan temperature a little bit here to save our garlic by adding water. So with a spoon, just kind of like break up your anchovies. They sort of melt. Putanesca means essentially somebody that works in a brothel. And so legend has it that the people working in these brothels would lure customers in uh, by the pungent aroma of this dish. If you're gonna alter or omit ingredients in this recipe, it should still be pungent. If it isn't pungent, it's no longer puttanesca. So here we come in with crushed tomatoes. I'm gonna get a little bit of pasta water, swirl it around, and just try to get every bit of tomato in there. And we're gonna add some olives. Black olives, brown olives, kalamata olives. Just as long as they're pitted. Some of you may have noticed that I haven't salted anything here. Again, that is by default. Anchovies are salty, capers are salty, and the olives are salty. And in the pasta water, we added very little salt because of this overwhelming saline situation. So the pasta's al dente, really nice. Maybe even slightly undercooked. And at this point, I am just gonna go straight in the sauce and let it finish cooking here. Beautiful. So I'm killing the heat. We wanna make it a little spicy so we can go to the packet drawer, grab some red pepper flakes, throw those on here. We are gonna twirl it into a ladle like that. Come on, baby, twist for me. You know what? It's true, the anchovies have completely disappeared. I smell the brininess of olives mixed with a delicious smelling tomato sauce. It's only $1.41 a serving. I can't wait to dig in. I'm gonna come in with my fork and I'm also gonna come in with my spoon because that's tradition in the south of Italy. In the north, it's frowned upon, but this is a southern dish. Flavor-wise, it's not overly salty at all. It's just this interplay of subtle, natural salts that make this taste delicious. It comes together as quickly as it takes the pasta to cook. I mean, that category is elite status for me. It's that caper, olive, tomato combination that just makes this fantastic. This is a classic.